Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to find remote work from home jobs. This is gonna be like a beginner's guide on how to find and get yourself ready to start applying for those work from home jobs. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys hit that notification bell, make sure you guys go ahead and get ready, uh, get a notepad, something so you guys can start taking notes. Now, the first thing that you guys want to do is you guys want to identify your skills and your interests. So you want to start assessing your skills, your qualifications and your interests. You want to determine the types of work you enjoy and the skills you possess that are in demand for remote jobs. This will help you narrow down your job search so you can get you a notepad, you can get you a whiteboard, you can get those giant like presentation boards and start writing down everything, start assessing your skills. What do I know? What have I, you know, look at your resume. What have I uh, been doing? You know, types of work I've been doing. So you can kind of have an idea of your skills and even your day-to-day -day things that you do, that can be some skills that you've been doing that you may have not had an actual job with, but things you may have done for other people that has not been like an, at an actual physical location. Next, you guys want to research remote friendly industries. So you can certain, there's certain types of industries that have like jobs that are like for people that are more in a tune of doing like remote friendly types of jobs. So you can research different companies that will have like tech jobs, digital marketing, content creation, customer service, virtual assistants, writing, design, or even online tutoring. Cause those are ones that are mostly like remote work type of opportunities. Next, you wanna update your resume and your online profile. So if there are some jobs that may require for you to have a resume and some that may not, but you still want to update those resumes, update your online profiles. You wanna tailor your resume to highlight your relevant skills and your remote work experience if you have any. You wanna update your LinkedIn profile if you have one and any other online professional profiles to reflect your remote work preferences. Next you want to do is you want to utilize your remote job boards. You can explore different types of remote specific job boards, such as there's remote.co, there's flex jobs, which is a paid, they have rework remotely, there's remote okay, there's indeed, there's so many different platforms that you guys can check out that can help you and you can see a different um, opportunities for various industries. You guys can even do a Google search and look on there and look for specific remote specific job boards that you guys can check out as well. Next, you can also check out like general job boards, like regular job boards like Indeed, which I just talked about, LinkedIn jobs, Glassdoor also has like remote work filters that can help you find relevant opportunities. You can use different keywords like remote, work from home, or virtual when you are searching for different types of work from home jobs. Another thing you can do is you can join freelancing platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, or Fiverr. You can sound like I said fiber, fiber, <laughs> or you can connect with freelancers with clients seeking remote workers. You can create a profile, you can showcase your skills, and you can start bidding on relevant projects. Another thing you can do is you can network online. So you can engage with professionals in your industry on LinkedIn, Twitter, or industry specific forums. You can participate in discussions. You can ask for advice and you can let your network know that you're looking for remote work. Networking could be a great way for you to get job referrals and different opportunities. Another cool thing you can do is you can attend virtual job fairs or different webinars. There's different companies that host different virtual job um, fairs or webinars to connect with potential remote employees. We can research companies that offer remote positions and attend their virtual events to, lead, to learn more and make more connections. You guys can check Google. Google has so much information. You guys can just search and look for these different types of virtual job fairs or webinars that they have available, which will be a great way. And if you are um, doing networking online, which I just spoke about before, you guys can ask them about if they are aware of any types of um, job, uh, virtual web job fairs or webinars that you guys can check out as well. Next, you want to be very, very proactive. So you don't want to wait for job postings. If you know, you want to start getting out there and looking. Yeah, you can wait for job postings. You can still look, but you don't want to just make that just be your be all end all and waiting for someone to 
put jobs out there. You guys still want to be out there looking. So you want to reach out directly to companies you're interested in and inquire about remote work opportunities. Even if they don't have any current openings, they may keep you in mind for a future position. So even though I said don't wait for those job posting, you can still look, but don't make that be your only thing that you are doing. You want to be really proactive and looking out there for different jobs because everybody's out there looking. So you want to make sure you are Doing something maybe a little bit different than one may that may just be waiting for job posting instead of getting out there and contacting companies directly. And the last thing you want to do is you want to prepare for your remote interviews. So once you start getting interview requests, you want to be prepared for your remote interviews. So you want to familiarize yourself with your video conferencing tools. You want to make sure you're dressed professionally and you want to ensure a quiet and well lit space for the interview. You want to remember that, you know, finding a work from home job may require persistence and patience, and you want to keep refining your skills. You want to stay up to date with industry trends, and you want to remain flexible in your search with um, perseverance. You'll increase your chances of finding a rewarding remote job by doing all of this. And hopefully this will be helping you and have you, you know, have the potential to bring in a remote job that you love, that'll provide you with a great opportunity, great benefits, and something that you enjoy doing from home. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.